Hi Capricorn, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Today we have Capricorn, a general read. This is not necessarily a love reading like I always do. I do have the love reading uh, that is posted, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, typically on a daily basis, right? But let's get into it. And this is about something you want. This could be about love though. But we're looking uh, at these energies, the mystic woman and enjoy the mystery. Here they have Einstein looking at the cat, right? So the mystic woman is trusting your intuition, but you know, you, you, that's what you are doing here. But at the same time, uh, I feel like you are like trying to figure out what's going to happen in a situation and you don't know. There's just, you just, some things we just don't know. We have to enjoy the mystery, right? And here is the completion card. And, uh, you know, here's a nice man here and that's uh, his face and the woman's holding the puzzle piece. You're waiting. This is a world card in this deck. You're waiting for the last little piece of a puzzle to create your future or to, you know, to bring you your wish or this new vision here. But I feel like this new vision is something that you already wanted and you are waiting for the last, uh, last little puzzle piece here. We also have the six of wands and here's the man he's poised, right? Uh, like for a victory and, uh, the lion sits with him. And this talks about victory, of course, forces in balance, success, hope, good news. I feel like you are hoping here, you could be getting news here too, but you are hoping here uh, that something will just complete itself. Like the last little piece is going to come together and you're going to uh, enjoy this new vision right here. Uh, and this is uh, a major arcana, I believe. Let's have a look at the new vision uh, in this particular deck. Yeah, we see, uh, this, uh, this person holding, uh, holding their pose, right? Let's see where that card is. Uh, actually, I don't believe that is a major, but let's have a look at, uh, the new vision. Oh, this is, uh, typically, I believe a court card. Where is this card at in this deck here? Okay. It is a major and I didn't see it right away. Okay. That's what I thought. Let's see what it says here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When you open up to the ultimate, immediately it pours into you. You are no longer an ordinary human. You have transcended. Your insight has become the inside of the whole existence. Now you are no longer separate. You have found your roots. This talks about somebody uh, who's, you know, this talks about your own transcendence, right? Definitely. Now you are presented with an opportunity to see life in all its dimensions from the depths to the heights. They exist together. When we come to know from experience that the dark and the difficult are needed as much as the light and easy then we begin to have a different perspective on the world by allowing all of life's colors to penetrate us. We become more integrated. This talks about, uh, some type of suffering or difficult, uh, energies, challenges that you have dealt with, uh, Capricorn. And, you know, maybe this, whatever this is, is part of this completion here. This is difficult. This last little piece needs to come together in order for you to have some type of victory here. And you're sitting in the mystery going, well, is it going to happen for me? I'm pretty sure that's kind of how you feel here. The trine is here. This is talks about, uh, you know, perfect flow and like the supporting energy. A trine can talk about harmony and opportunities, right? Yeah, it can this trine. And I feel like you kind of have kind of, you might've kind of suffered here. So it, it doesn't have to be suffered, but Definitely you felt challenged about this last little piece of, of a pie or a puzzle coming together, right? You need this last little piece Capricorn, uh, in order for you to kind of enjoy this new vision that you want and this opportunity. And this is unclear if, if this is about your career or about love, it's just kind of right. And so, and it could be about both. And this is why we are not calling this a love reading. It could be if you want, but let's see what we have. And, uh, 
Mm -hmm. And you are basically in this discernment mode about something that you really want in your life, Capricorn, about this new vision. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're wondering, uh, Capricorn, if something is going to come to an end. Because you need some type of a completion for your vision to like manifest. Yeah, so let's see what we have. And uh, we start with the star talking about manifesting, right? And let's get our little, our little, uh, you know, trusty, uh, trusty stickers here. Yeah, this is what we have to do here, you guys. Yeah, we do. <laughs> and uh, yeah, let's see what we have. And here we have the star. And let's continue. The seven of cups showing up for you. And the lovers. So let's hear. Now we need a little bit more sticky here going on. And Capricorn, maybe you're dealing with Aquarius. You could be, possibly, you could be dealing with uh, Cancer. We have the moon. And we have Gemini. And uh, this could be, right, the lovers could be Gemini. Could be uh, any, but these are definitely energies here. Uh, these are great cards, Capricorn, if you are trying to uh, definitely manifest something. So let's see what else we have for Capricorn. Mm-hmm. And uh, we have a little bathing suit on this uh, these, this woman here. <laughs> and let's see, we're going to move these up. And we have the Knight of Cups reversed. We have the Strength card here. Knight of Pentacles. Okay, let's get uh, another little sticky here. So Capricorn, we have the future over to the right, over uh, to the left, rather. This is how I'm doing it here. Sometimes if you watch a reading, you'll see it the other way. But this is how, uh, mm -hmm. this is how I do it. And uh, so in the past, Capricorn, we have the moon, the strength card, and uh, we have the world card here. So you were trying to, you know, basically, uh, you know, have courage here about the situation that you're dealing with. You want something to end here because you think that's going to be the gateway to something new for you. Something, it's not new, but it's something that you've wanted, but like you want a whole, you want a big change. And this is the newness here that is showing up, right? Yeah, let's move the camera. You guys can see the card. So this is in the past. You had like doubts and kind of confusion about this here. I feel like you were trying to, you know, hold your courage about this, right? Keep your courage. It's possible you wanted somebody else to have courage over here as well, because uh, mm -hmm. this is a major reading. We have uh, five major arcanas and we have nine cards here. So this is uh, very major, right? It is. Mm -hmm. And these are both major arcanas here, the completion and the new vision card. Uh, cards that I have pulled from uh, that deck. So yeah, this is a major reading. And so I feel like you are also trying to maintain patience here, right? With the strength card. That's what you have been trying to do is maintain patience. You're waiting for something to end here. Whatever that is, that looks external to you, Capricorn. It, it does. It looks external. Like you don't have control over this, some type of a completion. We have in the current energy here, uh, mm -hmm. you look like you are, you're feeling challenged that you, you either feel, mm -hmm. it just looks like you, you think that somebody external here needs to be trusting their intuition. And this has everything to do with this completion card, right? It's interesting about a puzzle because puzzles, Capricorn, uh, Sometimes, you know, we have two people playing the same puzzle, right? Yeah, you're waiting, you know. Mm -hmm. I also feel like somebody here, uh, or you had options, Capricorn, uh, about your life, but you are kind of waiting for some type of an ending. So you had, you had your own choice here about something, but instead you waited for, you're waiting for some type of a completion. Yeah, I'm pretty sure here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you also could have been possibly, 
in, in the past, in the recent past, right, could be maybe the, you know, distant past as well. It's for some, this is, you know, but you could, you feel like you kind of had like, yeah, you felt like doubtful here, uh, possibly if this completion would happen because somebody needs to like no longer be confused about something. Maybe it was your own confusion here. Yeah. Yeah. And it's also possible here that you were trying to, you had options and you were trying to make a choice, but uh, you just didn't, you just needed one more piece of the pie here to, to have this come true here, or even possibly to make a choice, right? Here we are in the current energy here. We see the lovers here and the Knight of Cups reversed. Mm -hmm. This can be somebody, uh, you know, who basically, uh, I feel like in the past Capricorn, you were doing your best to trust your intuition here about some type of a choice here, but you felt like it, trusting my intuition is in a way kind of like futile because you knew that there's some, there's something external here that you don't have control over. So you're like, well, uh, why kind of, why trust my intuition when something external has to happen? Like it's out of my hands basically, but you were trying to have courage about this. This is what you are trying to do here. And we see Capricorn in the near future, a very beautiful energy here because, uh, we have the star, the lovers, and we have the Knight of Pentacles here in the near future. And down here in the future, uh, if we look at it, you know, from a different perspective, which is, you know, uh, basically horizontal here, we see that we have the world card here and this is dreams coming true. And this is what this completion is with the last, uh, piece of the puzzle here. And this man is very happy here. He goes, wow, it's completing here. I'm going to have my wish. I figured out the puzzle or I put everything together in order for this new vision to manifest. And down here, this is beautiful energy here. This is somebody who stands in their, either their abundance or their independence here. Yeah, there is a freedom here in this reading that is very important. I feel like you feel like something external will happen or some completion will happen that you will have your freedom here. Your own, like, just to feel free about this situation because you're waiting here for something external. And this could be that somebody maybe needs their, needs their independence here. It's a possibility here because it sits with the world card, which is ending this it could be ending of a cycle here. You are so biting your nails here, Capricorn about something completing itself. So also in the near future, we have the star and the lovers here. And this is uh, very uh, inspirational. There could be a choice that's being made here that uh, maybe you are waiting for a choice to be made here, but I feel like this is going to happen here, but this is very inspirational energy here. This is very intuitive energy, psychic energy with the lovers. It is, uh, the angel is like blessing this, right? And this is how we know this is so kind of psychic here. Yeah, we know that this is psychic and you're sitting here with it, Capricorn, uh, the Knight of Pentacles here. Mm -hmm. And this can be an offer for some, it could be an offer that, uh, will be coming to you, but you are still waiting, uh, for something to complete itself. Capricorn, you are, and something you feel frustrated. There's a little bit of frustration in this reading because you feel like this is not your, it's not for you to do. It's something external to you. Yeah. So we're going to end this reading Capricorn. Thank you so much. You guys for joining me here and please remember to like, share and subscribe.